It's strange how people look up to the sky like it's heaven. It isn't heaven they see. It's oblivion. Cold, dark, meaningless, meaningless. That dream? Plane crash. Was he there? I couldn't see his face. But it was him, right? It's always him. I couldn't sleep. I'm gonna miss you. Maybe you should ask Dr. M to get you some extras. Fuck Dr. M. Is <laughs> it? Does it matter? I'm not gonna sleep at all once you leave. Come on. You can't go. You know you can come and visit me. When you're well. You're lying. Don't lie to me, Jane. I'm not. You're telling me what you think I want to hear. That's lying. You know I wouldn't do that. You know I wouldn't. I promise. <sighs> I've never been good at lying. I've always been proud of that. But letting her in on my plans would make her an accomplice, and she could never carry that. But somewhere deep inside, she knows, the way sisters know. Welcome to Lifehouse, a home for the broken, the tired, the sad, and the suffering. You are lost and forgotten, ages 14 to 22. Do not worry, all will be well. Dr. M, 36 beds with a pool, a sauna, a private pharmacy for all your needs, landscape grounds, and a feelings doctor just for you, all nestled in the woods of Northern Oregon. We specialize in you, the truly fucked. Bipolars and borderlines, bulimics and anorexics, depressives and suicides, IEDs and NSSIs. A cup of emptiness for her, a cup of tranquility for me, sip and swallow your pain. That's the good doctor way, but did you read the fine print with all the warnings? That pain you're burying, it's never going away. Heard the good news. You must be excited. Yeah, thanks. How long has it been? Um, it's almost a year. That's a long time to be away from home. Sure, I get it. It's just my mom. She gets a little too excited, you know? It makes me nervous. Yeah, moms are a lot. You'll be okay once you get there. You'll see. Thank you. This is who we really are. A girl with a beautiful but broken mind. A boy with poison in his veins. A young man with rage in his heart and a me, a girl haunted by a ghost. Keep the razor where I can see it and don't turn to face the wall. Just for caution. You understand? I know you're good now. I will take the dark part. If I could, I'd kill myself. Right here, of right now. Your heart into my the question isn't why or how or when, it's been decided before me, before my father, before his mother. We're cursed. It's in our blood. Hey, Daddy. It's our fate. 
We're all born prisoners in our bodies, and there's only one escape from that sentence. But it's a lot harder than you'd think. This disposable razor, for example, this is a cutter's instrument, an attention getter. Lots of blood, no real damage. Time. That's your true enemy. To bleed out takes a lot longer than you'd think. See, I could create a scene like last year's. Lots of blood, lots of drama. That was all for show. I didn't want to go. I wanted to be saved. I wanted to be pitied, martyred, understood. Maybe just loved. But this time, I just want to die. I'm done. When did you start? I tried to off myself last year, but I had a burner moment. Most people don't graduate, so I'm told. Sorry about that. No, don't be. I mean, me too for my mom. I really fucked her up. My mother cries every time she looks at me. She doesn't even try to hide it anymore. Mine too. She tries to pretend that everything is normal and I can see it in her eyes that it isn't. Your mother's eyes are the worst mirror. Who said that? Me. I like it. I'm afraid. Are you a poet or a philosopher? Mm. Poet for sure. You? A philosopher's daughter. I think too much, so the doctors tell me. What do we do here? Calming therapy. Learning to breathe. Beats talking, right? Yeah. I think talking screws shit up, too. Maybe. I've been doing talk since I was 11 years old, and look at the progress I've made. Remarkable. <laughs> spend enough time at Lifehouse, you learn everything, including the security code to the pharmacy. back to sleep. Remember when I told you I wasn't good at lying? Well, I might have been lying. I was thinking about how doctors in the Middle Ages used to bleed people. You know, that they thought that by cutting a patient and, and letting them bleed that they could pull the sickness out of them. 
Yeah, I think in a way, this is what I was trying to do. And when I made that first cut, I, I could almost feel all the wrong being sucked out of me. And, and I actually felt high. Mm -hmm. It's it almost be difficult to resist film, but we know it's just like any other drug, right? You've been chasing it for years now. The high has never been the same, nor the relief. Yeah, that's true. It's your time, Phil. Anything else you'd like to share? No, I'm good. You cut yourself a fun. I wouldn't say you're good, dude. Leave him alone. Does she tie your shoes too, Phil? Chad, we are a non-confrontational therapeutic group. Treat others as you yourself want to be treated. Okay, okay. Diarrhea of the mouth is a real sickness, huh, Chad? Enough, enough, everyone. Jane, I don't want you to handle that, though. Well, I can't think of anything positive to say right now. Come on, you've been such a strong presence here. Anything. Okay. I'm a planner. And if I can't see what's ahead of me, I, I lose my shit, which is probably why I'm in here. Life is impossible to plan, so I'm constantly losing my shit. I come from a family of, of suicides. My grandmother, my father, know me. I mean, you don't need to know any of that. What you need to know is when I get on that plane at night, I will never arrive home. My body will, but the airy part of me, my, my soul, if you must, will not. When the lights go down and everyone nods off to sleep, I will unbuckle my seatbelt, make my way to the lavatory, take a handful of oblivion, and just sleep forever. Jane? Everything okay? Did you want to say something? Last chance. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna miss your faces. They saved me more than once. And for that, I'm, I'm forever grateful. But I don't ever want to be here again. And that's not to say that I don't want to see any of you guys again. I just, not here. Get a room, ladies. Okay. No, 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 I'll, I'll be there, okay? It's far too late. Mom, please don't pick me up. I'll just take an Uber. Jane, just don't argue. Okay, I'll be there. It's Newark. It's not safe that late at night. I have a great day planned for us in New York. We'll go to that chocolate shop. Do you remember that? Serendipity? Frozen hot chocolate with your dad? Jane? I know. It's... It's my fault, Mom. You're just being good to me. You've always just been good to me. I'm just... I'm... Useless. I'm just so fucking useless. Jane, look, please, just, it's okay. Look, Mom, I gotta go. <gasps> please don't okay. go. But don't I, I go. love I... you. Always remember that. I looked in my mother's eyes this morning, knowing that what I was about to do to her would be so much worse than what he did to me. I thought my father a narcissist for leaving me. But this girl I see before me, she understands him. And yet, if the pain I feel now is what he felt, I have to forgive him.
Vince, what's up? Tell me what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, flight 278 in Albuquerque, Mexico, has been We apologize. Looks like that CrossFit's paying off. Robert, stop. Oh, he's embarrassed. I'm sorry, we just got engaged. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. It was Eddie's mom's, but I had it reset. With a much bigger stone. <laughs> Some in your pockets, maybe a belt buckle. No, it's the jacket. We're getting married on a mountaintop on New Year's Eve. Sounds nice. So many zippers on this thing. Wow. I don't know what else to do. You have a problem, miss? Uh, my flight is boarding. Let me see your boarding pass, please. So it's 5 p.m. here. You have plenty of time. Please wait in the line. I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Miss? Hey, it's all good, man. She can go ahead. I'm holding up the line because it's my fault. <laughs> totally forgot about my keys. Sorry, man. There's pockets everywhere. Jane, Jane, I have a situation here at Lifehouse. I have Carrie here with me, and she's suggesting that you're planning on doing something. Is that correct? Carrie, because she can't sleep when I'm not there. You know that. Why don't you ask her about that? Is that true, what she's saying, that you can't sleep? Are you trying to keep her from leaving, Carrie? Okay, okay. Jane, listen to me. I'm concerned. I want you to wait there at the airport for me. I think we should speak in person before you fly home. Doctor, Dr. M, I wish I could. I just, um... It's Kara. You know what she's like. She's not in her right mind. She's a, she's alive. She's a compulsive liar. She doesn't want me to leave because she's not well herself. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Um, uh, Dr. Emma, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, my flight is boarding. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Whoa. What are you doing in here? Uh, better question is, what are you doing in here? This is a men's room. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Hey, look, I, I'm not telling you if you won't. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. You good? Look, if you don't want to be alone right now, I could totally keep you company. Christmas is a terrible time of year, right? You're sweet. Thank you. Sweet.
hopefully we'll have information for you in the next 45 minutes. We apologize for being Sweet guy's back. <laughs> um, um, I'm actually not that sweet, so. <laughs> These are really, really good. Have you tried to? Do you want one? Um, no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Are we delayed? 45 minutes. Gosh, you know, I bet we won't even get out of here. We'll be ringing in New Year's here. What? Oh, man. I'm gonna totally missing out. <laughs> Say something wrong? Or... No, you just, you gotta... Uh... Yeah? Yeah. Get up? Yeah. Oh, my God, that's <laughs> so embarrassing. A powder all over me. I appreciate it. No, it's good. Look, I'm, uh, I'm Paul. Oh, nice Paul to Hart. meet you. Oh. <laughs> Jane. Solace. Hello, Jane Solace. Mm -hmm. Bro, this dry. I think I might have had too many of those thinner sticks, so I'm gonna, um, get some water. Yeah. You want anything, or? No, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> That's what rationalists say about premonitions when they come true. Well, that's deep. I don't believe in coincidences myself, but just destiny. Me neither. So are you going home for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. You don't look excited. No, I, I am. Okay. You think it'll snow? I hope not. <laughs> Gosh. I'm telling you, these storm systems. They didn't exist before we started burning fossil fuels. You, you believe in global warming, right? I, I do. I, I don't know that it'll affect me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we are way past the whole thing about your grandchildren stage. I just read this piece in Vox. It said, by 2050, summers in Eugene will feel like summers in Nevada. Jesus. Yeah. This is our lifetime kind of stuff. I'll be 56 by then. What about you? I'm sorry. Uh, you, you're really kind, but I just, I'm so tired. Yeah, all, it's all good. I'm gonna let you get some rest. Dear Paul, I'm afraid that when you see what happened, you'll think you had something to do with it, and I need you to know that you didn't. I just wanted you to know that I'm glad it was you who ended up being the last person I ever spoke to. You were really kind, and I hope that you live a life that's as good as you deserve. Jane.
sorry. One second. Just give me a second. Take your seat, please, immediately. Fasten your seatbelt. I'm sorry, sir. Fasten your seatbelt, please.
Try whatever you can. We can't stay here. Bags of peanuts, bag of pretzels, power bar, three quarters of a bottle of water, a uh, Swiss Army knife, scarf, gloves. Flashlight's no good. Here, put these on. Uh, I'm gonna have to find more stuff tomorrow. It's freezing. We're screwed.
Someone you know. You should be digging my grave. Jesus Christ. Jane, look. She, she's dead. She's gone. She died, and we lived. Okay? That's it. Her name is Margaret. She's getting married on a mountain. Okay. She has a fiance. I don't know his name, but. She really wanted to live. Look, so do, so do I. Okay? So do you. But the fact is, Margaret is dead, Jane. All right? There's nothing we can do about it. Tomorrow she'll be under a foot or two of snow. Okay? There's nothing we can do to change that. Okay, so just go. No, we have to stay together. I'm okay dying here. Jesus Christ, did you just cut the shit? Please! Listen, I have one rule, okay? It's, it's no drama that's not drama. We can't cry because our feelings are hurt. We can't cry because some stranger died and we live. We can't cry because we're stuck on a fucking mountain, okay? And, and we may never see our family again. Look, maybe she, was a, maybe she was a better person than you, okay? Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. And honestly, right now, I'm here with you. We're here together, and I need you to survive, okay? And you need me, too. You need me, too. Okay? Leave her. Just leave her, Jay. Go back to the plane and get warm. Okay? You should put these on. Jane, we can't stay here. We gotta move through these mountains. Snow is coming and we're gonna get buried. Go. Look, we're, we're way too exposed here. You know that, right? And it could be days before they come and find us. It could be weeks, maybe never, okay? We could die here. Fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yep. I don't mind dying here. Really, it sounds like paradise. I'm actually. sorry. What? Are you stupid? Did you hear what I said? I said I'm fine dying here. Go. No, I hurt. You know what? Get your stuff and let's go. Okay? Back let's off, go. Dude, back off. Are you kidding? Is this some kind of like attention getting thing? Well, you want me to beg you or something? Because if so, you're betting on the wrong dude. Okay, just. Okay? No, just... no, 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 no. Get your shit Stop and let's talking. go. Just go. You know what? There's only one sleeping bag, okay? I don't care. Take it. I don't. I really don't care. Just get out. Are you serious? Please, just stop being an asshole. 
Wow. You know what? <laughs> Suit yourself. You can die here alone. Okay, it's water under the bridge. You're not an asshole. Yeah, well, I hope I built up some goodwill, because he really not going to like this next part. What do you mean? We have to calm down. No, I'm not. No, that's completely impossible. You know, it's funny. For someone who really wanted to die, there she goes. I'm here, aren't I? We gotta get down the valley, all right? That's the goal. Otherwise, we freeze to death. We're just gonna go side to side and down, okay? Uh, That's it. I'm just not, follow me. I'm, I'm not right... climbing down. Jesus, no one's coming to get us, all right? What do you expect? Some Christmas miracle? I don't believe in Christmas. Why not? Atheist. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you one thing you can believe in. It's just me and you up here. Let's keep going. Follow me. Okay? 
Don't look down. Don't look down. Watch your feet here. Watch your step. You're gonna have to swing around. There's nowhere else to go. I can't. Jane, yes, you can. No, I can't. You're gonna have to swing it. We can't go back up. I can't. We can't, I can't go back up. Look at me. Jane. Jane. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Look at me. I got you, okay? I got you. You can do it. You can do it. I got you. Just give me a hand. Give me a hand. There you go. It's okay. You're okay. There's no more cliff. We can't go any further. There's a, there's a solution, right? You're not gonna like it. What? Trust me. You gotta follow me. Yes. We did it. We made it. We made it. You okay, Jane? Yeah. yeah. You flew. Yeah, until I hit those branches. <laughs> yeah, this phone is busted. Oh. Wait, these, these are fall out your pocket? He's yours? What is this? Oxy? Sleeping pills? Jane? I had a plan. A plan? What do you mean you had a plan? An exit plan. That's what I meant before. That's why it should have been me. How many of these you got left? Look, I don't really want to talk about okay, it. Okay, well, I do. It's inventory, so I need to know. Enough to keep us both sleeping for an eternity. Jane. Can I ask why? No. What happened to your wrist? I cut myself while I was shaving. <laughs> you got... Jesus. Honesty, Jane. Honesty. We need each other up here. I need to know that I can trust you, okay? I need to know you're not gonna tap out on me. Now they're yours. You don't tap out on me, okay? Let's, let's keep moving. We just gotta make it through the clouds. Okay. Watch your step. <laughs>
We need to take a break. We can't take a break. We gotta stay ahead of the storm. We can't stop. You just make this shit up as you go along? Yeah, basically, I do. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Can I make shit up too sometimes? Yeah, be my guest if you know what you're talking about. Look, I, I get it, okay? I know you're a little angry, and I can be a little arrogant sometimes. A little? Look, I said it once, and I'll say it again, okay? No drama. No drama that's, that's not, not drama. Yeah, okay, well, no. it's a good thing to remember, mm -hmm. all right? Keep your head in the game. Keep up. You keep up. Thank you. 
How long was I out? Just maybe, maybe a few hours. Or Found some shelter. Be protected here. It's so dark. Yeah, it's a little freaky, but we'll be fine. Thank you for getting me out of there. No worries. I need to tell you something, Jay. After I left you at the gate, I changed my seat. I saw your ticket and I, I changed my seat to sit next to you. No one's ever changed their seats for me before. <laughs> Not a stalker. Mm. <laughs> I just was smitten. The moment I saw you. I, I want to tell you something. The reason I, I did this it's complicated and, and and I guess at the same time it, it isn't, you know? I don't really know where to begin. You don't have to, Jay. Everybody loves Christmas, right? <laughs> I guess. I loved it. I loved that feeling that you get on Christmas morning. I guess everybody does. I would wake up early before my parents. Mm -hmm. The house would be dark. And I would sneak downstairs. And all the presents would be wrapped neatly under the tree. And my mom would write from Santa on each one. I was just, I was one of those kids who believed. I, I, tr I truly believed in him. And Christmas. That life was good and fair to everyone who was good. Daddy? of your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Lots, actually. He used to call me Pumpkin. I miss that. Nobody calls me Pumpkin anymore. And he would lift me up and let me put the star right on top of the tree when we were done decorating. He gave me this the night before he died. You should feel special. Never let anyone hold that before. It's beautiful. You know, it's funny how one bad memory will weigh on you for a lifetime. But a thousand good ones, they just seem to drift away.
Maybe I should have seen it coming. You were a kid, Jane. I know. I know. It's absurd. It's just the way you start to think after a while. Every shrink says the same thing. Don't beat yourself up. You were 10, Jane. So then why can't you forgive yourself? The hole in his head? I was, I was too young to see that. Some moments we just can't unsee. I remember when my demons had such a hold on me, I would have been scared to hold such a piece of glass. What power you once held over me. It's hard to remember why. When I look at you now, I only see broken glass. Nothing more. Okay? Yeah. So your chest? No, no, I'm good. No, let me see. No, I'm, I'm fine. Let me see. <sighs> oh my God. Does it hurt? No, it's, it's fine. It doesn't really look fine. No, I'm, I'm fine. Let's go. All right. Um, maybe we just wait until tomorrow. Should no, I think until... we should go. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's best. All right. about it. Try not to talk about it. It doesn't help us to complain about the obvious. <laughs> okay. Now I know what I'm gonna sound like. And it's annoying. <laughs> Do we, um... We still have the pills. Is it enough or two? Enough for what? Our exit strategy. We're alive. Yeah. Not drama without drama, remember? You know, he used to tell me that. My mom. She, um... She died when I was nine of cancer. I'm, I'm sorry, I, di I didn't know. No, you didn't know. But I like that you're funny. Because we're gonna need it. I would see her laying there in her bed. Her body looked like she was 95. She was 30. And uh, I tried not to let her see me cry, but it was just really hard not to. Because that's my mom. And she's all I had. And she would always tell me, she'd say, no drama without drama, Paul. 
You can cry when I'm gone, but just... I don't want you crying while I'm here. Only smiles while I'm alive, you know? And I hated her for it. I was nine years old and my mom is dying of cancer. And I wasn't allowed to cry. Where was your dad? <laughs> Gone. He was missing. I don't know. Let's just save that for later. But I guess Paul Hart's not so tough after all, huh? Yeah, but you're sweet. And alive. <laughs> Jane, nobody's gonna find us in a snow-covered cave. We shouldn't have left the crash site. I just... This whole time, I've just been so confident in myself. I just... I felt invincible, you know? I would hear horrible things happening to other people, and I was just so certain that it just would never happen to me. Like, something like that could never happen to me, but even if it did, I would survive somehow. Of course I was going to make it, because that's how I was raised. That's how my mother raised me. That's how I was built. But when I... When the snow, when it took you like that, I just... I was scared. I was scared. I was so fucking scared. And I can't breathe. I can't breathe. It's okay. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. I'm trying. I Look can't. at me. I'm taking one slow breath after me. Okay. One. One. Another one. Two. There's nothing to be sorry I've about. I've never had that happen to me before. Yeah, well, it's kind of a regular occurrence for me. <laughs> We're gonna get out of this cave. Say it with me. We are gonna get out of this cave. We're gonna get out of this cave. We are 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 gonna get out of this cave. Oh, God. Take a little breather. <sighs> the valley leads to a river. And the river leads to a road. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 
Hey, Jade. You afraid of dying? No. Not at all. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about that, so. Let's keep going. See something over there. Hey, give me a hand. Okay. Just wait here for a second. I'm gonna go check it out, okay? Okay. Right. What do you see? Jane! I see it! We made it! I see the river! <laughs> oh. Paul! Paul! Look at me, just breathe, just breathe, okay? <laughs> Jay, I can't feel my arm. I can't feel my arm. Is it broken? Don't Is think it... about your arm. Is, Just is look bad? at me here. Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Jay, you have to set it. I'm going to lose my arm, Jay. Just, just grab a stick, a straight stick, so we can tie the bones together. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Jay. Jay, you have to be quick. Kiss. I know. Kiss. I know. It doesn't matter how much pain I'm in. Uh, okay. Uh, you gotta do it quick. Okay? You have to do it quick. Okay. Go. Oh. On the count of three. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. God. I got you. I got you. Take some of these. It'll help the pain. Here. Open. Did you see the river? Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. We'll get there. I promise.
gonna keep talking. Because I know you can hear me. I heard you under all that snow. I know you can hear me now. We're gonna be okay. Paul. Paul. Oh, God, I thought you were dead. Still alive. Still alive. Gosh, you gotta, sit. You gotta get going. Yeah. Okay? Come on, we can make it home, man. Almost there. Let's go here, okay? Let's lay you down. You not lay down. Okay. Let me see. I think I'm tired. You're not. No, you're not. I need you to get to the river. No, I'm not going without you. Jane, I can't go. I can't go on, okay? Does this count as drama? No, I don't think so. You're still breathing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. <sighs> you gotta go. No, Paul, I, I'm not leaving without you. I have to you. go. I can't. I can't move. I can't breathe. I'm just... James, you gotta go, okay? You gotta leave now. Jane. If I die... Don't say that. Listen to me. Just stop saying Listen to me. If I die, just... Just know it wasn't because of you, okay? I don't want you to spend one minute thinking about it, okay? I want you to feel guilty. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. I love you. It's too much. Take these. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say goodbye. <laughs> hey. Come back for me. Man. I will. What does it say about us? This was our time and place. We're pretty unlucky, right? No. No, I think. I think we're pretty goddamn lucky. I'm coming.
my life. Yes, you're alive, but we need to know your name, miss. Jane. Jane who, miss? Sol Solace. Where are you from, Jane? Uh, New, New Jersey. Okay, we're gonna get you something for the pain, Jane. No. You're in Montana. We found you on the edges of Marshall Wilderness. We believe you're the only survivor of a plane crash. I am. Paul, where's, where's Paul? Where's Paul? Paul, Paul Hart! Paul, I need him! I need Paul! Paul Hart! Okay, he, Paul survived. He car yeah, carried me here. To the road. Okay, something for the pain. It's okay. It's okay. No one knows the path our lives will take. What will become of us? What will become of the child? Hi, Daddy. What are you doing up? Time for sleep, pumpkin. <laughs> Forgotten back, make you smile, and reverse time. I form in an instant, will last a lifetime. What am I? I don't know. Memory pumpkin. True memories are forever because they don't live in your head, they live in your heart. Listen, that sound is me, every day. You keep this to remember me, okay? Fate would tell you that he was gone, that his life had ended. But I now understand what he was trying to tell me. That I shouldn't let fear and the terrible tricks it plays on your mind convince me that death was the end. Until now, I blamed him for all my sadness, but I know beneath the grief and pain he caused, there was only me. And me, this person that innocent girl became. She had the power to change everything. To remake the world like she remade the mountain. I'm here now, asking forgiveness, but also ready to walk into the sun with her hand in mine. Two days. Oh my God. No one. Oh no one could have walked Mom, down that mountain. That's I need what you to listen saying. to me really carefully. Okay, there's a boy. His name is Paul. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Paul. 
whole heart. Yeah. They found him the morning after they found you. I'm so sorry. He left something for you. Hey, Jane, I'm so cold and tired and hungry. I can't think. I wish you were here next to me. I know you won't quit on me because that's behind you. This mountain gave us something, you can't deny it. We'll never forget what it means to be alive. I can't say how I know or even if it makes sense, but you'll survive because that's who you are. That's who you've always been and now you know it. I feel it now and it's all right. You know I found your note from the plane. I'm glad I didn't end up being the last person you spoke to. But I'm so grateful to have had you be mine. It's funny. If you had gone through with it that night, I think people would have said fate had its way. But because you didn't, we found each other and you found your destiny. I hope you live a life good enough for the both of us, Jane. And I'll always be with you wherever you go. In your heart. Where memories live. It's strange how people look up to the sky. Like it's heaven. It isn't heaven they see. It's love. When you let someone actually see you, when you let someone into your heart, you will see them forever.